International Moth Week is underway, and there's a unique virtual open house you can check out if you're curious about these uh, nighttime critters. Yes, we're speaking with Lynn Kimsey and Jeff Smith from UC Davis. They're at Boat Cart Museum. They're joining us live to tell us a little bit more. Good morning. Good morning. So we're having a, a virtual having moth questions. open house. Tell us a little bit about that. How can people uh, get a, take part in what are we going to see? Well, why moths? Um, I don't know what the history is behind Moth Week, but it's just <laughs> something to educate people about things they don't understand. Okay. I guess. <laughs> and uh, we will be doing sort of a virtual open house at one o'clock through our Facebook page, but you don't have to be a member of Facebook to actually see it. Okay. And we'll have a live feed on showing off parts of the collections, and uh, Jeff Smith will be uh, actually doing the, the uh, demonstrations and things. So it should be a lot of fun. Well, Professor, um, I know that sometimes the, the moths that we are used to seeing are either gray or white. Uh, that, those, those displays there show some really interesting colors. They can be really gorgeous. But, I mean, think about it. If you're flying at night, why would you be colorful? True, true. <laughs> you can't see it. Right. And so but, what's but nonetheless, the... we have some incredible ones. Yeah. What are the positives of moths versus, oh, look at the butterfly, you know? Um, really not any difference. It's just they're both important pollinators. Some of them are absolutely gorgeous. Um, you know, they're small, dull-looking butterflies, too. It, mm -hmm. it just depends on how they make a living. Um, some of the most incredible moths are actually, there's one uh, hawk moth that has a nine-inch long tongue, and it oh, pollinates orchids. Well, do you have a, <laughs> that one yeah, there? Yeah, it's actually, yeah, yeah. Actually, That's a right hawk there. moth? Yeah, or sphinx moth. Oh, there moth. it is. There's the tongue. Uh, we think oh. of them. Yeah, can you see it? Right yeah. There? Oh, why? <laughs> it's un uncoiled, but, but yeah. And they hover like hummingbirds, so they're really fun to watch. Okay. Is Jeff there? And then there are the... Yeah. yeah. Hi, Jeff. <laughs> He's walking good, right good front morning. of the camera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is a scripted, so... <laughs> so yes, I'm here. Are you both going to be doing this today? No, Jeff will be doing it this afternoon. Okay. And what time does it yeah, start? I'm the one who spends my life in the uh, butterfly and moth aisles. Yeah, he's my he's my moth guy. <laughs> Talk to the moth guy. What time does it start so yeah, everybody can get on Facebook? Yeah, what do we what do we look for? Well, on right, Facebook? and so you can see on Facebook. Just go to the Bohart Museum. Bohart Museum. Bohart okay. Bohart Museum website, and there's a link to the website to the okay. Facebook. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Either way. Of entomology. You can find us directly in Facebook or through the the Bohart website. Look at that pretty one that we're looking at close up. With little red dots on the black. So wings. you can see the rainbow. Yeah. Do you see the rainbow colored ones? These guys? Beautiful. Those are actually day flying moths. Really? People think that they're swallowtails, but they're actually moths. Yeah. Yeah. Those are a bit of an icon because they're so beautiful you often see them in advertising and in other forms of media. But they're referred to as a sunset moth and they're from Madagascar. Yeah. Ah. Okay. Well thank you and both. Then you can see the Yeah, absolutely. National There's Moth more, Week. So have yeah. Yes, National Moth Week. Who knew? <laughs> Who knew? When's National Butterfly Week? I don't know if there's a butterfly week. No, well, we have to make one are, up. And moths are actually more important. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I guess we'll learn more about that. <laughs> Tune into Facebook, Dan, right? A little bit later on this Absolutely. afternoon for their virtual open house, 1 so. to 2 p.m. Thank you, both of you. Thank you so much. I didn't know that, but.